Interestingly, for example, if you go around the show floor here in Geneva, um, you don't see the hype that we used to see. You actually just see connected in the vehicles. And we've moved actually from this is coming to it is here. And it was very striking that there is almost no vehicles on the floor that do not have connectivity built into the vehicle. The number one problem is cybersecurity. And as we have um, communications with the cars, um, people are working more and more to see how they can hack them. And we have major effort both in I ITU and the UN towards um, addressing the cybersecurity issues in automobiles. Originally, um, if you go back the beginning of this century, um, ITU had very little involvement with automotive. And the automotive was struggling very hard to go with communications. Um, we've been able to build both this um, symposium and the collaboration on ITS communication standards as core ITU functions that have brought in the vehicle manufacturers and the related um, uh, industry participants to a real synergistic effort towards moving forward. We've worked very hard on integrating the ITS activities into the cellular world. We now have cellular V2V and V2X um, that has been laid out. Um, we're working um, led in China and then the U.S. towards how we implement those in practice in the cars. Um, so that's a major effort. We have a basic set of standards for over-the-air updates. Um, we're now trying to bring those into the regulatory environment as part of the UN Task Force on Cybersecurity and Over-the-Air Issues.